if you are a catfish lover or if you have never ever tried catfish trust me you are gonna love this it is amazing juicy super flavorful you name it super tasty too keep watching hello beautiful people it's your girl claudie welcome or welcome back to my kitchen and thank you so much for tuning in i will be showing you how to grill the best ever cut fish it is so good so delicious if you're new here please hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell trust me you're gonna love it here i've got the best recipes to start off right here i'll be using one whole red bell pepper for the fresh ingredients i have some lemon slices too fresh parsley I will some fresh basil, thyme, rosemary, onion, and I have some green onion at the back. For the herbs, you can use any combination of fresh herbs, but I think these ones are really good. If it's not have the fresh, you can use the dried, okay? I have some ginger and garlic paste right there. And for the other ingredients, I'll be using some cooking oil, Cajun seasoning. I love Cajun on fish, guys black pepper, salt, some seasoning powder or beyond and lastly I'll be using some cumin. So first off what you want to do, you want to use a blender or a food processor to blend the fresh ingredients until they have like a slightly coarse texture. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, African is so after blending this i will transfer into a pan as you can see i just added the ginger and garlic paste now i'll be combining the rest of the ingredients with the oil so guys for this we are going to be cooking this because you want some of the water to evaporate for some time and you have to cook until the oil floats okay i will be adding some smoked paprika i almost left that out very important because you want your fish to have that a little bit of a smoky flavor you all know what i me right so you want to give that a good stir and put on the fire to cook on medium heat and for our catfish i will be using one whole catfish here you want to marinate on a on an aluminium foil first off you have to pat dry to get rid of any extra water and make deep slits or curds using a knife i always tell you guys there's always a reason for this for even cooking and for the marinade to get deep into the fish okay american and worldwide recipes pastries and bake african asian american and worldwide recipes this is good looking good to check on our marinade it has been cooking for a while about three to four minutes here and you have to be checking it so it doesn't burn okay you can see the oil is now flow the oil now floats and we have to marinate our fish if you cannot handle maybe the heat you can let it cool off for a while but as you can see i will be using a brush to to place it on the fish and i'm using my hands i can handle the heat guys so it's okay you can let your school off you can if you cannot handle the heat okay so marinate the fish you want to make sure the marinade gets deep into those slits you want to put it into the belly into the head of the fish you know what i mean Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple. Now I'll bring in some lemon slices inside the belly of the fish. Yes, if you can do this, the better. Like lemon slices in the belly. Cooking with Claudie. 
cooking with Lodi. Easy, simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Lodi. Cooking with Lodi. Easy, simple recipe. You want to wrap that up beautifully guys you know catfish is one soft fish that if you want to like grill it without an aluminium foil it's going to scatter especially when you want to flip the sides so to have to make your fish come out whole just wrap in an aluminium foil for it to cook evenly trap all the juices and stay juicy all throughout grilling now i'll transfer that onto a baking sheet and it's going to go to my oven 400 degree fahrenheit for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes this is how beautiful that is looking but guys at this point your fish is 100 percent cooked okay you can go ahead and serve right away but with cloudy you always know i love my fish to have a shard look i will open it again like this and put it back in the oven opened okay for 400 degree for about let me say three to four or five minutes depending on how sharp you want it to be but mine cooked at 400 degree fahrenheit for extra three to four minutes okay you just want to make sure you're adding some of that sauce on the fish so that it doesn't dry out now let it go back to the oven and after about three to four minutes this is how beautiful that is looking you do not want to miss out on that part so guys you can serve this with whatever you like plantains potatoes fufu whatever i will be serving mine with some fried ripe plantains it's my favorite to go with fish or maybe potatoes i love potatoes or plantains with fish you can but like i said you can serve yours with whatever so now i will be adding some pepper sauce if you want if you do not like pepper you can pass with that and this is the remaining marinade i forgot to tell you guys from the beginning to save some as a dip but this is optional and we'll be serving that with some lemon slices and you can go ahead and dip in right away so guys this is the end of the video if you liked this video don't forget to give me a like don't forget to share the video and don't forget to leave me a comment okay and don't forget to follow me on instagram facebook pinterest you name it and thank you so so much for watching to this point and until i meet you again in my next video bye for now and stay safe